uh, I can walk you through how I'm supposed to see it and say it, but I just want to speak from my heart. Um, I love that guy. That's a good man. He loves his country. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. Uh, but he had a test to meet tonight uh, to restore confidence uh, uh, of, of the country and of the base, and he failed to do that. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Uh, we're still far from our convention, and there is time for this party to figure out a different way forward if he will allow us to do that. Um, but that was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden, and it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just panic, it's pain. Of well, you know, man, guys, uh, I love the United States of America. It's a country that I want to go to one day. And uh, that is why I'm so concerned about that uh, debate. And I kind of like love uh, Joe Biden because, particularly my sister, the United States of America really, really likes Joe Biden and uh, some of his policy about uh, immigration and uh, kind of like a favor her. Huh? So, guys, uh, it's quite difficult for me now, honestly. Well, Trump is somebody I also love, I also like very well because... He kind of like uh, trying to defend his country even before defending another country. That is one of the fundamental constitution of any country. Well, they are both great guys, guys. They are both great guys. And I watched you know, the debate. The debate was so bad to the extent that the media that have been uh, defaming Trump and praising Biden couldn't do it anymore. They had to admit this is where their integrity, <laughs> this is where their integrity were actually tested. They had to admit that Joe Biden did poorly. Like CNN. Just go and check the review from CNN. The CNN, the first uh, video I just played. Just check in. Check the review. They are advising. Democrat to quickly find an alternative for the presidential election. They are advising Democrats to advise Joe Biden to step down honorably because they believe the United States of America, majority of the United States of America have lost total trust on Biden. And if they do not quickly find a replacement if they don't quickly find a replacement, they might lose the election and every other election. Donald Trump, one of the, uh, the stronghold of Donald Trump is the ability to be healthy. He's strong, he's healthy, he knows exactly what he was saying. Despite many of his statements were wrong, and was it really going well with some certain persons? But let us be honest. You saw the composer. You saw the fiscal free. It's written. You can just see it and be like, man, Joe Biden, you need to take a long vacation and rest. Long vacation, guy. Uh, rest. Like, we talk about the third world country where we see president. President who are still really, really ill and sick. And couldn't even uh, know their next step to take. And we make fun of them. We laugh at them. But we are talking about the United States of America here. One of those countries that every other country are looking up to. Come on, man. You guys cannot allow this to happen now. Third world country are allowing it. And we are mocking them, laughing there. We see President pissing on themselves. Well, if Joe Biden said he's strong, then they should allow him to contest. It's left for Democrats. But right now, Joe Biden, uh, Donald Trump is the people's favorite because of Joe Biden, I don't know, illness that nobody wants to admit to. You know, he himself doesn't want to admit that he's not strong. Even when everything is clear, so nobody wants to admit to it at all if he's strong or not. They're just trying to twist around it, dance around it, and just make it favor this and favor that. But it's quite unfortunate. 
Let's call a spade a spade. Call a spade a spade before you guys lost the election. They believe there is still time for them to quickly react and also find a replacement. But I do not know if it's not too late. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, like, I love Joe Biden because of uh, the immigration policies and the rest. Why Donald Trump is going to make it really, really difficult. But I also love Donald Trump because that is one of the fun. I also love uh, Donald Trump because you have to check it very well. He cannot be an enemy because he's trying as much as possible to protect his country. That is why I say it's going to tighten the the border. And he and I like the way he's saying it, despite his harsh. I like the way he's saying it, despite his harsh, because he has not been elected yet. He's saying what exactly what he wants to do. Not some people that won't say it. We dance around the issue, and when they get there, they will tighten the border. It's a straightforward person. He says exactly what he wants to do, and he and he do it. So his policy might not be okay to so many people, but at least he's... He is actually saying it. No, that boldness, saying it. That is what I like about him. He's saying what he wants to do. So if you don't want to vote for me, don't vote for me. But this is what I want to do, though, if you vote for me. So he's saying it's straightforward. And many Americans like him for that. Well, that bit said, uh, let's uh, leave the Americans. And the debate was nice, organized by CNN. So let's check other stuff. Uh, let's talk about our own EFCC. So there was a video that was trending yesterday showing EFCC officials assaulting uh, some uh, some uh, persons, a lady, precisely in a hotel. Of course, some of you may have seen that uh, video. Well, according to the EFCC chairman on what uh, really, really happened, according to them, they said, Regional hotel operation, uh, other arrests of officer involved in professionalism conduct. The executive chairman of the Economic and the Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ola, has ordered the arrest of two officers of the commission allegedly involved in the manhandling of a female staff of Regional Hotel or Joe Lagos. The officer were cited in a viral video uh, assaulting the staff of the hotel in an early morning sting operation in Lagos. The operation healed a sizable number of suspects who are still being profiled. The EFCC boards have also ordered details investigation of the operation carried out the, at the hotel. So it was actually ordered. According to them, they ordered the operation, you know. I believe they never really ordered the operation. But for them to look good and for them to, and for the commission to feel that they are in control, they have to release this statement backing them up. But the officers who were involved in such operation, how can you uh, kick down a door and the next thing you want to do is to start slapping a woman? Why? Who does that? You don't feel relaxed yourself. Come on, man. Relax yourself. But thank God, there were cameras. There were cameras. And he, this is what they do. This is what most of them do. But no camera to actually capture the moment. That is why we do not hear about them. That is why they keep denying and denying and denying. I'm so, so happy cameras are out there to justify, to kind of like back up the claim. Because if it was ordinary claim from anybody... Nobody will believe them. If they say, oh, they were beaten by EFCC, because EFCC are supposed to come, arrest, detain, and then do their, their investigation more. But now they kick down doors, they break down things, they destroy properties, as if they are hungry. Who are they hungry at? They destroy property as if, I don't know why. I keep asking myself, why are these guys so hungry? I think the president, Bolame Tunubu, need to do something about it because EFCC might just be, they are doing a great job, but some officers are doing a really, really, huh? a really, really stupid job. 
because such officers will allow the commission to lose credibility on Nigerians and Nigeria will start looking at them as enemy. Because you can arrest and detain without assaulting. Why? Well, it's a boy again, Adam Sling. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time.